Okay, so this is our deck. I don't know, I really like sitting outside, but just here we never do because this west section in the heat of the summer, it's just way too hot. So to fix that, we're going to build a wooden box thing, put these plastic totes inside of it and plant plants into these totes and then up the sides, build like a frame thing and put trellis in the middle of it so that vining plants can grow up it. And I think we're gonna do like cucumber or something, but we'll see what we actually end up with. That's the tentative plan right now. Sounds really like kind of simple. This tape measure down here is how wide the box is gonna be. And I put these plastic bins in here to make sure that everything was going to fit nicely. And it actually is perfect. So I'm really excited about it. So, so I guess Ryan's gonna sand all these and we're gonna stain them before we put it together. We're not sanding a lot. We're literally just knocking down splinters and stuff. This is what, Color? this is what one we're gonna use. Do you like the color so far? Yeah, do you? Yeah, hopefully it looks good once we wipe it. That's gonna be pretty dark. I mean, I'm okay with this. That's fine. And it's not like straight up black, which I didn't want. Oh, I love my painting. Can you paint this? Yeah. What color is black? Wow. Don't call it black, Kai. <laughs> Dark, dark brown. <laughs> no, it's black. <laughs> we decided we're gonna do three coats on one side and then on the sides, we're gonna do one coat and then try and roll with that. Cause we're running, we're running low on this. So hopefully it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't look bad. <laughs> Tears are coming to my eyes. <laughs> It'll make good firewood if it looks bad. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's expensive firewood though, isn't it? No. Uh oh. It kind of feels like everything that could go wrong is going wrong and we're like barely starting this. <laughs> I feel like I'm going crazy. And now my damn rooster won't shut up. <laughs> these, are, these tubs literally I think are like just the right length. Cool. Wait, let's stack them up and show them the game plan. Oh, okay. It actually, it actually looks pretty good. What? The darkness of it. Like that'll look fine up there. Yeah. And honestly, I'm sure the sun will fade it a little bit. They're like kind of not flat. No, that's, that's the problem with freaking two by fours. Wow. So are we doing three or four? Four? We could do, did you do enough for four? with one like this, or no? Yeah, no, I got enough for that. Although that was pretty good. I think it'd be better like this. So we're gonna cut all of our two by fours on a 45 degree angle so that the box comes together on a miter. And then after we cut them, we're gonna have to stain the new, newly exposed. We're gonna have to touch up some stuff. Yeah, so. we'll have to touch up a lot.
So now I think we need to make a panel out of them. I don't think I've ever drilled a hole before. Yeah, you did. You drilled a hole in the plastic. Oh, yeah. In your tubs. I'm scared. How far in do I do Just it? about right there. Yeah, let the drill do the bit. Or, sorry, let the drill do the bit. Let the drill do the work. All right, do the next one. Good job. Dude. <laughs> on that one, you went in on an angle. Uh -oh. So try and... Oh. <laughs> okay. Everything is so much harder with these two. <laughs> yeah. Are you having fun? I baby. We, we, we. Oh. Big jump. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> While Ryan does that, I'm going to go get the eggs. I haven't really shown my chickens before, but I have 10 chickens and I'm gonna give them some treats right now. So you can see them in action. <laughs> They're getting a little like jumpy, like they won't really let me grab them or pet them anymore other than Hinata, my rooster, cause I pick him up every day so he knows that I'm in charge. I, I made a point before to pick, to like come out and spend a lot of time with them so they would, <laughs> you know, be friendly and I could grab them and see if anything was wrong with them easily. But through the winter, I just haven't spent as much time out here as I would like. So they aren't used to me like holding them and stuff like they were before. So hopefully this summer we become friends again and they trust me enough to let me pick them up. <laughs> Hinata's pretty easy to pick up though, because like I said, I pick them up every day, literally every single day, tuck them in my arm like this and walk around and do my chicken chores so that he knows that I'm the alpha. <laughs> this is Kitty. They're all named after movies and TV shows. Kitty. This one is Ruth. She's my favorite one. No offense, everybody. <laughs> she just has a funny personality and she's really curious and friendly, but also a little feisty. But she's a blue copper Moran. Oh. <sighs> These are the eggs from today. You doing that to hold them together? Yeah. Can you put this right here to hold it all? Yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. Oh, see how they sprung right apart. Yeah, do you want me to go kick it a little? Yeah, the two in the middle aren't screwed. Did that help? Oh, that actually helped a lot. Except it's not like flat, so. Do I just push it down? Yep. Oh, stop, 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 stop. That How far do way, I? Way too deep. Bro, you I said, what do I do? And you <laughs> said. Well, I thought you like kind of saw how deep mine were. Well, I thought it would just stop because you said I didn't have to do anything. <laughs> when I said, "Is do oh. I have to do anything? You should have said, yeah, you have to stop it. Did you need me to tell you to breathe while you were doing it too? Yeah, I held my yeah. breath that whole time. Uh. Well, now I'm scared. No, you're okay. Oh, because I thought it would stop like how when I did the other thing, it just stopped on its own. You did the other thing? When I screwed a hole. When you drilled a hole? When I drilled a oh, hole. Yeah. That was good. Don't mock me. It's not into anything. Are you str we'll just have to leave it like that. Go team. Dude, how are we gonna move when our view is like that? I know, it's a freaking amazing view. I feel like once we get all our yard all queued up, it'll be hard for me to move. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. 
So this is the front and the back. And yeah, this little thing, pretend it's a plant. <laughs> oh no! Oh, it's okay, we can put it back up. You're fine. Fast, 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 fast. Whoa, so fast. We're to the, almost the best part. Let me find out how bad it sucks. Why are you being so negative? Or how good it looks. I think it's gonna look good. Yeah. So all the holes are drilled in the side pieces. And now we're gonna carry them up onto the deck to, um, to attach them together up there. Do you think that was quality content? All right, you get that one. Is it too heavy? It's, it's heavy. It? Mm, uh. Good job, Kai. Here's, ooh, if I even get put in. Wow, looks good. It does. So now we're just gonna attach them all up here. This has not been that bad. So we're going to attach the end pieces on that hold it all together. I'm just going to use a clamp to keep it nice and tight. Good. Honestly, I don't know if we needed to miter these because after seeing it in the space, if this end was square, we could have had those just go oh. into it right there and you can't even see it. That may be something we wasted our time on, but it's yeah. okay. I, I guess I didn't think about it. But. Well, I didn't either. Geez, maybe we should make it into a hot tub. It looks better than I thought it would, honestly. Once we touch up the paint, I think yeah, it's gonna be clean. Yeah, once we touch it up. This is the first time we've ever really sat on our deck. <laughs> no, it is actually really comfy for some reason. It's like the perfect size. Yeah. Like, for armrest. Yeah. Maybe we're onto something. <laughs> I know, for real. We could make this into a hot tub. Just put a little, like, pool liner in it. And... Yeah. Do you want to get in here? Come on. Come on. Alrighty. Ew. On that note, <laughs> let's go. I should have painted the back sides I know. of these three yesterday. We, yeah, we didn't realize what ones we were doing what with. This is like gonna be a big space for the plants. Yeah. Like really, I mean that's why I want to try and take advantage of it. Yeah, like looking at it right now, it, it's a it's, it's a gonna really spot. make it feel like nice, don't you think? We'll see. Okay, anyway. Okay. We're at the point in this thing where I'm just touching it up. The next step is to put up the trellis thing. We just haven't decided how we wanna do that yet. So I'm just gonna do this part and then we'll figure that out later. <laughs> Some of the in-between sections are just a little bit too light. It's done. <laughs>
<laughs> well, okay, it's not done. Now we just have to add the trellis and, okay. I accidentally spilled some on my favorite pants. Right there. So I guess these are my like camping pants now. It's water-based, you can wash it out if you're, well, it's probably dry now. It's probably done. Do you think I could go get it wet and wash it out? I don't know, it's better than not trying. Let's go try. I'm just trying to scratch it out. Yeah, I think it's dried. I think what's done is done. It's still there, but I do think a little bit might've come out. If it doesn't come out, they're my camping slash outside pants. Might get destroyed pants. I don't really care that much. I'll probably still wear them. Do you want to touch up there really quick? There's like a couple spots Where? on the top that oh, are a little, like on the front. yeah, that are a little bit splotchy. It was really hard for me to reach. Like I was on my very tippiest toes for the, and then over here, there's a little bit too. I kind of want to go get soil today. <laughs> I love it when all the goats go running. Yeah. They're so cute. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it looks good. We are waiting for the coats to dry. But while we do that, we're going to go cut the trellis, the wire. We can staple it on right here and then all the way across the top. And then maybe what we can do is just put a couple of zip ties Okay. to hold the two rows together. Watch out, Rara, it's gonna catch you. One piece. Oh. Do you want me to do it? Yeah, if you'll do that, I'll go grab the nail gun. Okay. What's, so like, what do we have to do? All right, so we gotta staple this uh, trellis in place onto our frame that we made. So we're gonna hold it from edge to edge. I'll, edge. I'll shoot a staple in. Oh, yeah. So one thing is we gotta make sure to just pull it really tight once we get it up here, but. Oh, I wasn't filming that whole time. Do you get scared doing that? Because this and a nail gun are the two tools I'm the most scared of. Why? I don't know, they really stress me out a lot. What if I end up dead like Kakashi? He didn't die. Okay, but like kinda. He absorbed the nail with his monkey, uh, mongeko or whatever. Mongeko? Yeah, whatever it was called. Well, it was still a nail. That looks pretty good. Yeah. Okay, let me show him. Hey! It's just the right size, huh? Yeah. Are we good on that? Yeah, we need to make sure that these line up, though. Okay. Probably do all four of them at once. Really? Yeah. No. I'm just going to drill a bunch of holes. So I've had a change of plan. Originally I was going to put veggies in here. I was gonna start sweet peas or snap peas or something, but, but those die off pretty quickly. They don't last all summer. And then I was like, I'll do cucumber or zucchini, but kind of the same thing. We wouldn't have shade until like much later on in the year when the plants started to get huge. So I think I'm going to plant, oh, there's a little ladybug. Let me show you. Anyway, I have this wisteria plant that I think will do much better as like a shade 
providing plant. So I'm gonna go ahead and pot this into this bin. Hopefully this goes okay because normally you would dig, for this plant, you would dig a pretty deep hole for a plant this size. But we're gonna try it and see what happens. I'm gonna put my bin as far that way as I can. So a big reason I'm choosing this one, like I said, so that we could have like cover for more of the year. This thing is cold hardy, I think to negative like 30 degrees negative 20 degrees, which I need here in Utah. And it grows, it can grow like up to 10 feet a year. Obviously I'll prune it back so it stays confined to our trellis thing we made. I do like the fact that it grows quickly. I am just gonna add back in the soil that I pulled off when I kinda tussled up the roots a little bit. Dang it, I need more soil and I, ha I have more. I just don't wanna haul it up here. <laughs> oh well. It feels really good that this year is the first year I finally feel like well enough to take care of our yard and, you know, make it nice and cozy. It's gonna be hard to carry the bag and you. Actually, this isn't so bad. Gosh, maybe actually I put it like right in the middle of this tote, but I actually want to push it, I think a little more to the corner, at least more this way. So it's more flush with the actual trellis and it'll be able to grab on and climb all over it a little bit easier. Okay, go ahead. You know what I just realized? The bag says for in-ground planting only. <sighs> I don't have any, any other outdoor soil on hand, so I'm just gonna roll with it and hope for the best. Gosh, and before I put it in here, I should have pulled out the stake. Dang it. I'm making all sorts of rookie moves, aren't I? I also won't be watering it today. I think I'll water it tomorrow because I broke up some of the roots and I don't want it to get rot. So I'm just gonna give it until tomorrow before I water it. Oh yeah, that wasn't so bad. That was easy. I have this little scrap wire I'm gonna use to like tie this onto here loosely. <laughs> I love it. Okay, let me show you without my big head in the way. It's so cute. Like I said, I'll water it tomorrow and I'm also going to add mulch to the top of it, but I wanna get the rest of the plastic totes planted. So I think this is where I'm going to end the video. You guys, I'm so excited. Look, it's already providing shade. success. We're really going to put in a lot of effort on our yard this year. So let me know if you'd like to see 
some of that. Oh, and also let me know what I should pot into the other bins that are gonna go right here, where this I think is going to like eventually shade this whole thing out. I need shade tolerant plants. I would really like some like really beautiful florals if possible. So if you have any recommendations for what I should pot in the rest of this, then please let me know. That would be very helpful. I would really appreciate it. And yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Oh, he's plowing his field.